What is going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. So today we are harvesting, or hopefully going to be harvesting white corn. Dad is finishing out cleaning out the grain bin. It is a grain bin that we had full of yellow corn. We dried it, shipped it out. Dad is cleaning that out with an air hose and a vacuum. I have been working on cleaning the combine. I yesterday opened up the sides, blew the rotor off, blew the inside out. I cleaned the grain tank out. I got all the little pieces of corn I could find and now they're down in the troughs and I ran that some. So then what we're going to start doing now, once I clean out a little bit more, is we are going to run a little bit of corn in the combine, empty it out. That's gonna draw all that yellow corn out of the bottom of the thing. I'm gonna run it a little bit more, empty it out. That is going to be used for livestock feed. And then we're going to put the rest up in the bin. That's all non-GMO white. And then tomorrow we're going to clean out the combine again and then harvest a little bit of the buffer as the clean out. And then the rest of it is going to be organic white corn. That's gonna go in a separate bin. Sounds so good. Alfalfa field's starting to look pretty good. There's a little area right there where it was kind of clumpy and I don't think we got very good seed to soil contact, so we might need to throw a little bit more seed out next spring. If it doesn't do great, after two years, we'll rip it out and plant corn and have another 11 acres of organic corn, so we'll see. We have more alfalfa, like another 12 and a half acres we're going to plant next spring though because we did not have enough forage this year because we got rid of, well, a good 30 acres of hay. So we're trying to get more planted to make sure that we don't have that problem again. I fired up the combine with the sieves open, ran it to blow everything out of them, closed the sieves back down. Um, I think we're good to go for now. The first stuff we're harvesting is going to be uh, like I said, the non-GMO white. We're gonna do several flushes to get stuff like this that you can't really get out, out. I don't know if you saw it when I was working on cleaning up the combine, but we have a little hole right here in the clean grain elevator. That's not good because that is our cash crop trickling out of the combine. So we are going to, it's very jank, but I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna weld it up inside there and then we're gonna kinda try and weld it from the inside. It's just a patch job, we gotta do 75 acres and we're done. Uh, there's several pieces on the clean grain system that we need to replace. Um, it's just kind of a 1500 separator hour problem on these combines, so I need to do that. I have it fixed up. It's a little bit of a rough weld. Even though I had to turn the whole way down the middle so thin I kept burning through. So it's just like tack, 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 and then trying to spread my tacks. But since I couldn't get it hot, I couldn't spread the weld. It's a lot less of a hole now. Hopefully we can make it 75 acres. And then this winter we're going to go over all of the sheet metal on the clean grain system. Make sure we're make sure we're good on that. I'm gonna jump in the combine now and I guess go out and take out a little bit of corn and dump. Yeah. After I take off, I'll just pop the foot and the inch pedal in real quick and wiggle the gear shift to make sure we're not halfway gear. 
Okay, we did our flush out, and yes, that is white corn in the grain tank. White corn going out the spout. So we're harvesting our first white corn. I think it's around 19%. We're gonna check and see how it's doing again. What are you seeing? Seeing a little bit butt shelling, the big fat ones on the end. Then there's a few regular. I mean, I have it pretty far open. I just don't know Is it if it might be rotor loss. The problem is though, I'm getting a lot of crack. Got it. I'm running them at four and I just slowed the rotor down a little bit more. So the ears are thin, but they have very deep kernels. If you look, those kernels go way down into the ear. So it's actually yielding okay. Not anything fantastic, but hopefully the premium makes up for it. Okay, we're cooking along now. Got 10.6 acres done. Uh, got all the intros off this field, and now we are just combining white corn. Sisters in the Magnum again. Sheep going to be unloading on the go, at least in the long rows here. Unfortunately, I'm getting a little bit of cracking in the sample. These are smaller ears and I have to tighten down the concave, so hopefully we don't have to run it through the cleaner before we take it in. Um, I've heard they're short on white corn this year, so I'm hoping it gets accepted right away. But if you haven't noticed, there's a whole lot of hoping going on here. But it's also our first time ever doing a uh, food grade white contract, so we'll see. going to take an unusually long break for supper and I'm actually going to go up and grill for supper because we like to have leftovers around and we're getting low on those and sister's going to milk her cow and then we're going to come back out after supper. See y'all then. All right back after supper now. I'm going to fire the combine up. Turn on the monitors. Yeehaw. And then we're gonna make a lot of light. Get the light from her tractor, but that's it. And boom. Woo! Oh, we got one more light to turn on. Hiya! We're making daylight out here, folks. We finished up uh, this 27 and a half acre piece. I'm dumping the last little bit out of my grain tank. Uh, we're probably gonna go up for the night because that field I gotta blow the combine off before I start because that's transitional and we can't have any plant residue from a non-transitional field in a transitional field. So I've gotta blow the combine off then start tomorrow with a clean combine and then we'll be good to go for 28 acres until we get to the organic and then we have to clean out the combine again. But this, the next time then we gotta pull the head off though so we'll, we'll see how it goes. 
done with the combine for the night. I'm gonna jump in the tractor, unload a set of wagons, and then we'll put the tractors in. So when sister was out in Pennsylvania, she got this little dog. It's not like we didn't already have six dogs on the farm, but she just thought we needed one more, and a really, really crazy one at that. Seriously, every I feel like every young adult lady always ends up buying a little dog. I don't know why it is, but they have a thing with little dogs. Uh. Uh, let's see if we got this right. That bin has about 4,600 bushel in it, so it was pretty small, pretty small harvest day. But turning lights off, I'm gonna go put the combine away, and then we're done for the day. Now, well, main thing is we got started on white corn. I kind of wish we could have got an opportunity to do it last week, but it kind of didn't because of not only the rain, but also we were doing chickens, so we couldn't do it Friday when a lot of other people were combining. But it is what it is. I'm gonna wait for dad to pull in, then we're gonna get back to combine in. We don't need to fuel up, fill up with fuel because we only did 27 and a half acres, so it's not enough to even bother with it. <laughs> 